Hello everyone. We can see the actor. So this is our our drawing task for this week. Okay, let's be a little bit bold and daring with this one. Mm, Christian Bale, that's his name. Okay, here, round here. That's the end. This is this. It's his ear. Then you have the neck, jaw, mm, jaw here, then mouth, somewhere here the nose, the eyes, moving down, slightly. Now his jaw is quite big the way they've done it, but that's the shadow of a jaw. And then you have the hmm, hair. Now that is that line is a little bit premature, it shouldn't be there. So put it up a bit more. And then you have this beautiful line coming through, which is this one here. So look, I'm moving now with the massive, the most important lines, which is this. Then you have his sideburn. Then the ear is just underneath, between the nose and so it's here, really, between the nose and the mouth of the ear. And then you have hair coming through. That is his hair here. And I want to get the essence as quick as I can. The essence of the of the face. It's got very sharp features. Very distinctive and you know very easy to identify. The nose is perfectly clear what's going on and then you have nostril coming down here and you have his um, cheek his moustache but I'm squinting my eyes constantly just to watch and I don't want to see too much detail to this one I want to watch the design of the mouth here and then any of the moustache kind of moving down this way maybe uh, maybe that distance is quite large on me but that will be seen will remain to be seen later on for the time being I can continue with this eyebrow Hair, the beautiful rich hair here, like that is in the middle. Look at that, middle of his eye. There you have it. And beautiful hair coming around here. Mm -hmm. And then that's a little bit further up there. So this eyebrow is right up here. Needs to be worked as well. So this forehead is larger here. And then you have his cheek. I'm, I'm treating that as a, as a massive shadow shape here. Huh? You see the way I'm working here, and then you have the same treatment I'm doing here and then it stops there so that line stops down here around there there you are and you hear that light here hitting there there you have it and then shadow 
shadow here. And I, it's a little bit because because I'm I'm see I'm softening all these shadows. So they looked a little bit. Um, those lines were a bit strong. So what I'm doing, I'm incorporating those lines there onto a, a, a mid tone, a middle tone. And you have his hmm? jaw. I'm going on the top of that light, although I shouldn't, but I'm doing it on purpose. I want, it, I want it a little bit dark there, and then you have this beautiful joy. There you have it. That shadow there. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, here. Now, the hair is the darkest dark here, as you can notice. There you have it. And that dark just drops down here, so I can I do not want to move this dark. So what I said, look, this dark, if you go vertically, it just go around here. So it, that dark cannot be up here. It, it should stay there. There you have it. And the two, the eyebrows are closer together than what I've done it here. There you have it. And the form of all these eye cavity is look. Let's get the eyebrow coming this way. Maybe that's a bit too far away, so I'm cutting that. Then you have the eye down here, look, vertically, uh, vertically the eyes here. So you see what I've done? Look, checking it with vertical lines, look, it's just above his mouth. And and then you have this shadow here, which is this one here. Hmm? This is what I've done here. And the eyebrow darker. Hmm? Then the jaw. It's roughly now I, I have a little bit more information so I can bring up the jaw a bit more there I'm going with a stronger line here it's a massive dark line so it comes around here outside and you have this see that these are anchor lines Call them anchor lines. Then you have it, and then you have the the jaw coming through here. Okay. Now, oh, that is important. That line is just underneath or in between the nose and the the upper lip. See, I'm just getting in getting to know that line here yeah, it's it's a line which is not it's it's straight but it's not horizontal to this line see that's that's from photography and this is a, an organic line uh, organic line it's not it's not exactly straight with that machinery obviously that's machine i mean that's computer which has drawn that line and uh, that's straight so i but it's not exactly straight with that line it's it's slightly Inwards this way, yes, that's it. But then, how long it is, or how wide it is? Hmm? But this eye so it's there. It's an organic line. This is moustache, so not going too dark there. There you have it. Now the nose, it's possibly a little bit wide. Uh, yeah, less wide, less wide here. And then you have that beautiful 
Tak, mustache coming up too. So in getting in getting to know his character really with those lines and then you have that straight line coming through there 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 and then it goes underneath this very very dark shadow that I've done here so it goes right up here hmm? I'm talking about this one and then you have obviously his jacket or shirt that he's wearing and that is at the same level as that so it's the shirt is somewhere here Don't want to go very very dark on that not at this stage at least uh, that is beautiful here is his hair coming through on that to that side now let me see distance okay the middle the middle of his face from here till there is there so let me let me show you that is the pretty much the middle you see so from this point to his to the nostril it's the same as from the nostril to uh, not the same it's a little bit larger this side okay it makes sense of course so No, there. One, one, two. Okay, so that is correct because that line is there, but it's a little bit larger. So this side is slightly larger. So it makes sense to be there. So it's not that line, it's this one there. So it's that's correct actually. It's, it's, it just happens to be correct here. So from nostril to the end of the cheek, it's the same, that distance the same as from there till here but it's actually a bit further out so this is what i was saying to you it's a bit further out and then you have the ear then you have the hair coming through hmm. this is his Hair coming or moving darker here, darker, and that's obviously it's organic. I need to keep it. It's not the same as well. That's a different dark. That's flat. So it, that's a color. This is organic dark hair. So there's a difference there. But before I go too dark and commit with that darkness onto the, the hair. Let's get some half tones first. Mm -hmm. Let's get some, some half tones, which you have it all over his face. These are the half tones. That's uh, the half tone. Well, he's got he's got color, so he's he's quite, you know, tanned here. So that's what I'm trying to convert here. To convey, sorry, <laughs> convey. And um, half tone. And then that half tone around here. Okay, and then you have this beautiful round turn of his cheek. A lot darker here. A lot darker. But keep an eye because it is dark. 
It's a different dark from that dark. Again, that's an organic shadow, but this is a flat, it's colorful. It's a dark color of this shirt. Okay, let's lock in that shape here. Straight down, straight down, it's down here. It's eyebrow. Eye. Maybe down there. Sorry for that noise coming from Facebook. I'd mute this, which I did now. Okay, slowly. And make the eyes, which are at the same level. eyes here. And then you have the eyebrow right there. Actually, he's looking up, so I need to keep an eye on that eye. Keep an eye on the eye. Can you believe that? needs to be moving up, looking up. That eye needs to be moving, looking up. And then this half tone. Now it's this beautiful half tone there. And then you have all that light bit. Well, all his face is got a half tone. We said that. See, but let's do it this way because the light is moving in one direction here. And and also you got this. Shadow here, and that is quite highlight. It's a highlight actually there, so I better keep an eye on that. And then you have this half tone, which is quite dark here. Move it, move it upwards, upwards like this, and you have that beautiful turn of his face round his moustache here. his hair coming through there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That shadow gets a little bit darker here. So I'm, you see I'm after all these half tones around here. And you have the, as I said, what did I say earlier on, is that uh, this line is not exactly horizontal, it's more like this, it goes a tendency, so look at that here, and it moves that way, slightly left, oh, uh, da slightly downwards, downwards down here. Lift, 
That's a little bit. That distance between the lower lip and that line on his chin is quite distinctive and it's quite. It's not small actually. It's quite a lot of a distance there. And then kept this light. Actually, it's not that light. And also, it's a little bit larger. Slightly, slightly a bit more to, on the outside. And then the ear, look, it's right there. Right here. The ear. And then you have his hair coming through. Okay, now you low again from a little break I had from yesterday. So let's continue with our Christian burial portrait. I give it a little bit of detail here. Shadow there, and you have this shadow on this eye. Hmm? The eye bag. And uh, he's looking up. Not too dark. See, more than anything, I'm working on the shape of the eye. See that triangle the shape here? Look at that. So you have the shadow underneath here, but it's a very soft shadow. Very, very soft one, look. And then this one, the half tone of the light coming through there. There you are. And, um, and then you have the shadow, the cast shadow of the nose here. See that shadow? It's a very tiny shadow, very small one. Keep an eye on that. And then half tone around and the half tone here on the cheek. There you are. And um, some tonal value on his forehead. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because you don't mm. want to get to all these small tonal values for our, which are appearing everywhere. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Then you have the mm, his eye. You have the eye, the eye on the crow leg. The you put uh, the crow uh, the crow crow feet. Yes, that's it. Crow feet. Now, one thing that I just noticed um, is that possibly. Yeah, you see, I've diverted a lot here. So let's bring this nose closer here. There you are, closer there. That's more what I actually see there. It's a smaller nose. Just notice this one here. And then you have forehead. A bit of a dark shadow there. And as we said, he's looking up, upwards. And let's restrict the nose here, make it smaller. 
smaller here. I restricted here, what I need to get to grips here is that maybe that was too much of a squeeze there, yes, a bit there, that's better, there, and um, the, length of, the length of the nose here, on his nose, the length here, it's a bit longer, the, the original, on the original picture, it's a bit of a longer nose here. And you've got eye cavity here. Again, he's looking up. And there you go. Now, a bit more of a putty. <laughs> putty rubber. And the white of the eye here. Right here. And a bit of a shine. This eye. There you have it. Very sharp look. Yes. And a bit of the bag under the eye and getting those crow feet here. Keep an eye not too dark. Okay. A little bit of extending the nose, the depth of the nose. Sorry, the the width, not the depth, but the width of the nose. And that beautiful highlight here underneath there. We are. That's the nose. And then you have underneath the nostril here. There you have it. And a little bit of highlight. And not forget his moustache. Very thin lip. His upper lip is really thin. And uh, one so distance from the tear duct to the end of his nostril. Is the same as sheen to the lower lip. Okay, back again. So what I was saying earlier on is that he seems a little bit wide to me. Well, first of all, is that do I have everything right? Look, so tip of my pencil or my brush, end of the brush, uh, the, the finger is roughly the same as. Uh, his jaw, his uh, end of the jaw with lip, so lip and that, lip and the end of his, uh, it's, yeah, that's the same. Now, I find him quite not as wide on the eye, so that's what I'm going to check now. His eyes are the opening from one corner, from one end to the other, one, check it out, check it down here, wow. So look, tip of the for tip of the his eyebrow to the end of the lip, it appears to be the same as the width of his eyes, end of his eyes. Roughly, okay. So end of his eyes. Oh, not bad. Well, I had the impression that the eyes are a little bit narrow, but apparently 
Mm, it gives the impression that it's narrow, but checking it, it's all right. Anyhow, let's continue with that. It's looking upwards. And a bit more width on the wider there and also that with that highlight That is a little bit too sharp on me. Uh, a reflected light coming this way. If you have a ball, if you have the ball or an egg, you have well, we've done it many times on on our exercises. That's let's if you treat that like a ball and the light comes this way, you have a core shadow here, or well, it's not a core shadow in this case because it's not a ball, but you have, a, you have the darks of his beard, stubble here, and then also you have reflected light coming from that way, coming from the left. And, and, and what I didn't do actually was that he's a little bit wider on his face, on this side here. And also. his neck highlight of his neck there there you have it and his moustache is growing it's a bit wider there wider and it comes and I'm connected with a wider shadow there you have it. And then this little highlight here, look. Hmm? I'm talking about this. Again, that's the same light coming from the left. See, it's very clear on the nose, but it's not this clear because it's stubble here. So it's not it's the same light basically. And then you have the roundness of his nose. Hmm? The roundness here. And some light here coming through. Okay, let's give him a little bit of the white of the eye. Really darks. It's the darkest dark this hair, obviously. Give him a little bit more beautiful rich hair that he's got here. And his ear goes right down here. And then you have this shadow here. Highlight, Cart ear cartilage moving out of his, hmm, his jaw, 
quite masculine and wide. And then a, bit, a little bit lighter here on his neck. Now, that is correct as in because it's also showing the roundness of his cheek, a shadow that I've done it. But also, on the other hand, it's a bit too, it's a bit too edgy, it's a bit too scruffy. So I better get going with these lines because they, they are okay as the direction that they are in. But uh, I, they need to be a little bit less scruffy. So this scruffy means maybe I need to use some brush here. And that would be easier, you see, because with my fingers I might leave... Well, I'm using fingers constantly, but then especially here it's it's softer when you do it with a brush and of course you most of you have brushes so if you don't have a brush uh, the any any paper will do any paper um, paper towel will do So again, underneath his, uh, see that, that line here should go away. Because you see there's no line here, it's the, his jaw continues there. So let's do it this way. And it's a bit, another half tone, beautiful half tone around here. Maybe I should do the same down here, a bit wider. All right, and is Adam's apple here? You got his skin tone. It's a bit brighter down here. And the continuous skin tone up to his ear there as well. And um, okay, back again. Now a little bit highlight, a little bit more highlight here on his Adams up or mm, his. Uh, um, Bowl that appears to be here, and then you have his chin. There's no line there, but I'm just creating one just for the sake of it to know where we are. And line here, and a, a tiny line there. See, not a continuous line, it's not because look, there one line there and one there, and obviously, you have the stubble that is. And then you have the width of his hair. It's Milo in and out. He's never the sits in one place. Okay, and I cannot close the door because he gets really angry. If you close the door, you will be scratching the door, so it will be even worse. Okay. Now going back onto uh -huh. a little bit more highlight on his cartilage ear here. There you have it. And his ear goes right there. You see that? See that? That goes there. It is his car, it's continuous on that side. And and squint in my eyes, squint in my eyes, we see a very dark shadow here. There you have it. It's a half tone, and then you have the hair coming right here. Right there, the hair. Yeah, move 
leaves out and in. Beautiful here. He, he looks, he's got a, an eerie look or an eerie resemblance of with Tom Cruise, this guy. A tiny bit, not a lot, obviously. And then, uh, and then he's this one. So, Bill. See, the, the, the further it goes, the further the hair goes, the lighter it becomes, eh? because it's more exposed to the light, light coming this way. But I cannot say the same thing from this, this side, because it's a lot darker this side. bit more dark here and uh, let's create a little bit more of a it's got a very shiny look I cannot see that I mean very sharp sorry sharp look I cannot see that I and the the iris, but uh, I know where he's looking, or I can make it up. Look, a little bit of some highlights here on the hair, look. These are good. And the shine that the hair reflects back at us. The light that the hair reflects back, back at us. There you go. Hmm? See, see, that's beautiful as well. Creates a more natural look. Dust getting off as it is getting more and more saturated with dust. A straight line here, and then uh, let's get him a little bit darker here. This area See, that's a lot darker than the forehead. So I'm talking here, yes, right here. better and also I can darken that as well oh, and then here let's give him a little bit darker oops sorry dark here yes. I know it's way too dark but this is where we have Soften it and then keep this half tone down. Well, drawing famous people, it's fun, and we're learning as well. learning on getting the likeness, the elusive likeness of people, peoples, he's looking up, better less dark and give him a little bit of a thicker eyebrow he does have a very thick eyebrow 
maybe that I moved too high too soon. Light, the light of the nose coming this way, mm. jumping out. I mean, you have this light here, and then not forget the whole his mm, skull and the part of the skull where the mouth is, it just moves out a bit. He's got that characteristic, this guy, Chris, Christian. Christian, I didn't know his name actually, but but I knew he's been playing. As I said, he played mechanic, me, the mechanist. Very beautiful movie. Sad movie, but he played beautifully there. And uh, a little bit lighter here as well. Mm, some half tones around here light coming through and um, move that a bit closer here ah, that is better maybe a bit too long or too wide too quickly so bring that up a bit bring that up 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 I mean, I'm talking about this, you see that? That's obviously his glands there, so I did put it quickly down. That's why I brought it up again. There it is. And um, his cheekbone. There, cheekbone. Well, a bit of dust would be good here, and to create that half tone here, see? Ah, that was a bit darker than I attempted. But let's do it, let's, let's spread it. Let's do it this way. And then with putty rubber, we'll get clearer. Clearer results. So yeah, I've done it a bit too dark, too quickly. A bit darks here coming from there. Mm -hmm. Keeping the cheekbone a bit darker, a bit more depth here. There. That's better. That's a little bit better, but it's a bit. I restricted the eye too much, so I've lost this dark. I can go back to it again. Like that. 
See, that works better. here to emphasize that turn of his lower jaw, upper jaw, and you have here a little bit darker. And again, moustache a bit more. connects with his moustache as well but I need to bring back that light here see that one that's the one and the one underneath which is this one this one there of his likeness and then a little bit of my nights here and uh, I think I went very bright there so some dust take it from your sandpaper can softly bring it back. That's it. And then obviously I'm losing his uh, hair here, so bring it back a bit more. The roots of his hair. But softly, you see, that's the thing. The softer you get, the more full forward, ba sorry, backwards they go. Said earlier, on. and there we are. Okay. So there's a clear distinction between light and dark. Huh? <coughs> but I think <coughs> by doing that, I've also lost lots of dark. See.
that's better. See that highlight here? I've lost it by doing that shadow, so I'll bring it back. <laughs> okay, okay. Good highlight here. That's the bouncy light coming from the back. All right then, I think we've got Christian Bale. Oh, before I do anything, let's spray, <coughs> hairspray. Oh, before I hairspray it, check the lights. Always check the lights before you hairspray it because obviously it will be hard, very hard, if not impossible. To get them back like for instance you see that reflected light coming from the left here one two bit more there three highlight here and uh, highlight here His lower lip. There we are. Okay, okay. I think we're all right now. Just double checking, triple checking, always. There's no need to rush. Well, I'm rushing because I have to go to work, but you don't have to. Oh, come on. Dark, bring it back. Bring that down. Okay, so some spray. as tiny as that no need for more spray I will leave it for a while we'll leave it for a while until it's obviously dried it smells a lot like spray of course okay I'll leave it for a couple of minutes Maybe less than that. Prepare some more charcoal here. Sharper charcoal.
side of his head. And, and of course, his eyebrows. Very, very dark eyebrows. That's beautiful. See? That's a lot closer to him. under his eye and goes a little bit darker as well. Okay. Look, just a general dark shadow on the top of what we've done. That's better. It gives a, a general dark, again, shadow which is missing, that was missing. It's coming back now with this method. And he's the back under his eye. Yeah. Same angle, same vertical, uh, horizontal line. There you have it. Secondary light coming through. And not to forget this beautiful with the white of the eye down here. That's important. It's a bit too bright though, so I see go back back and forth until you get it. Get it as dark as is needed. That's better. Can we do on that side, on the left hand side? Maybe dark on that a bit more. Dark on this, this area. I stab with, you see. And some highlight here. Bring it back. Vaguely, stop with and a little bit of highlight here. See, just a general, because it's been sprayed, obviously it's hard to get <laughs> the darks off, but I, that's what I want. I want them to get off, I just want it to be a little bit more. Okay, I'll stop it for a second. So for a second, and we'll continue on the next one, uh, some more explanatory videos.